adults. My name is Max, and this is Adult Pi tutorial. Adult Pi is our Python library that is a thin wrapper of helper functions that help us do things like interact with adult binary, move between data formats, common with Python runtime, like pandas data frames, and connect to packages of the Python ecosystem, like SQL Alchemy. Um, we use Adult Pi when we are doing data science integrations and it's convenient to have helper functions in Python and um, help avoid some of the common traps of data conversions, moving moving from a SQL database to data frames, arrays, and dictionaries. So if you want to learn more about what I'm going to talk about in the tutorial, the best three resources are going to be Dolpi Docs on our website, the Dolpi source code, and asking us questions in Discord in the Dolpi channel. So getting started, you're going to want three things. First is an uh, adult installation, a valid Python 3 version, and last, either the adult Pi package or the adult Pi package. Adult Pi is a lot smaller and does not have dependencies, so it's a little easier to get started with. Um, so I'm going to run through a quick example of getting started. And I'm going to use commands from our docs so it's easier to follow along. So here we're making a new database folder, a reference to that database. I'm going to check out a new branch. The default is going to be main. But now we're on a new branch. So each of these commands is converting these functions to a shell call. It's a pretty lightweight wrapper. We're just converting everything into an equivalent CLI command. That means it's easier to debug what's going on when things go wrong. Mostly straightforward what's going on on the back end. So we're going to add data to our table. I've made a file beforehand that creates some users' data. And we're going to import that and create a new table called test. So, so we can see we created a new table. We haven't added or committed anything yet. Real quick, I'm going to issue a select statement just to make sure that our data looks the way we want it to. We have users, we have three users and their ages. So it looks good, so I'm going to add it. I'm going to commit it. And we've created a new adult database, we've added data to it, and we've committed. So this is a little bit of how you would use Dolpi. Again, if you have any questions, the best three resources are going to be the Dolpi docs, source code, and reaching out to us on Discord. Thanks for taking the time and look forward to more videos and more advanced use cases of how to use Dolpi.